welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Northern Iraq jungle in 2014 and Western Armenia in 1915. The same picture, the same Turkish handwriting, Geram Manukan. What would happen if the genocide did not happen against Armenians? Baku insists again, a peace treaty will not be signed with Armenians without amendment in constitution. The cities of Western Armenia, one. A new way to the Teknavor sanctuary. The head of Berkaber village confirmed the withdrawal of Azerbaijan troops from one of the locations. Haik Martyr Sam won a silver medal, defeating the representative of Azerbaijan. Facebook post of the deputy of the National Assembly of Armenia faction, Geram Manukyan, said, Today we commemorate the 10th anniversary of the tragedy that befell our predatory Yazidi people, the genocide of Yazidis in Shangal. Thousands of innocent people, women, children, construction workers of Shangal region became victims of extremists enjoying Turkish support. Thousands were kidnapped. Tens of thousands became immigrants. Look at those two images above. Northern Iraq, Shangal in 2014 and Western Armenia in 1915. The image is the same, Turkish handwriting. The genocide in 1915 against Armenians is the dark page of history left the indelible mark on the Armenian people and the world. But what would happen if the genocide did not happen in 1915, April 24? This question allows us to explore different ways for the historical, cultural and geopolitical implications for Armenians and more broadly. A blooming Armenian community in the Ottoman Empire. If the genocide committed against Armenians had not happened, Armenian communities in the Ottoman Empire could have continued to flourish. Armenians played a significant role in the field of trade, education and art, making a significant contribution to the economic and cultural sphere of the region. The absence of genocide would have allowed the continued development of these communities and enriching the diversity of the region. Preservation of cultural heritage. Armenian cultural heritage, including churches, schools, and cultural centers, would be better preserved. This heritage would be well for the Armenian people. A different path to diaspora history. The diaspora that resulted from the genocide would be much smaller. Armenians who were forced to spread around the world, fleeing persecution, might have stayed in their homeland, contributing to stronger and continued development. The formation of large communities abroad, such as France, USA, Argentina, would be less pronounced. Reborn national psychology. The absence of national trauma and memory could have led to a different psychological and cultural evolution. The Armenian people would feel more confident and calm to build their future without the pains of the uh, past. In general, if the genocide committed against the Armenians had not happened, the history of the Armenian people would have become more stable and continuous. Official Baku continues to insist that they will not sign the peace treaty with Yerevan without amending the constitution of Armenia, more precisely without removing the reference to the declaration of independence from the Madra law. Elchin Amir Bekov, representative on special assignments of the president of Azerbaijan, said this in an interview with Joshua Kuchera, the regional reporter of Azatutun. You can see the full interview through the link below. One was one of the six provinces of Western Armenia. Today, the center of the province is the city of the same name. The city on the shores of Lake Vana was first founded by the king of Urartu Sarduri I, 2846 years ago. First, the city was called Tushpa. The city has other names as well, like Biaina, Yervandavan, Shamiram Magyard, Vantos, etc. One was also the central city of the Vasburakan province of the Metaik, where the Vasburakan priestly family, the Arzurunis, ascended. One had rich vegetation, beautiful gardens. The garden district of the city was called Aigistan. The origin name of Van is unknown. It is associated with the name of the Armenian king Van, according to another version. It is a phonetic version of Biainigi. In 1915, Turkish troops roamed the city, almost erasing it from the face of the earth, massacrating the Armenian living in the city. During the genocide, the people of Van gave a heroic battle against the Turkish troops. Some of the Armenians who survived the massacre settled in eastern Armenia. The Turks who were occupied the city destroyed the Armenian neighborhoods. Today, the Turkish government wants to erase the shameful stigma of the genocide from that land and turn the region into a center of cognitive tourism. Architectural traces of ancient great civilizations and geological phenomena have been preserved in the city of Van. 
the Jarvan fortress, Pearl of the Kings of Urartu, writing Kef and Ayanis fortresses. In the Dakhkavang Sanctuary, which is located in the Georgia between Hulguma village and the city, two Iran steps have been built. The initiator of all this is philanthropist Tomas Chifchan, but the local authorities and the residents of Hulgumu village contribute to the construction. Nairi Iritsan, the president of Ahal Kalaki municipality, said that the local authorities and the residents of Hulgumu village have contributed to the construction. The people of Hulgumu rent out their land and spend the collected money on the improvement of the village. Philanthropist Tumas Chifchan considers it important to create facilities for fellow villagers. As of today, two iron stairs and a small bridge have been built. The improvement of the road is still incomplete. Tumas Chifchan said that during the improvement of the road, the builders found the tombstones of his uncle, whose name was the same as his name is, Tumas. The Azerbaijani military withdrew from the location and it was occupied by the border guards of the National Security Service of Armenia. About one month ago, the Azerbaijani base was withdrawn from the demarcated section of Berkaber, Tesla Hajil of Davush region. The Grand Haotunian, administrative head of Berkaber, said this is in conversation with News AM. On August 1, Sputnik Armenia wrote that there is some confirmed information that the Azerbaijani border guards withdrew from one of the positions in Berkaber in the Tavush region. As parties agreed, it was occupied by the border guards of the National Security Service of the Republic of Armenia. At the same time, they did not comment on the information in response to Sputnik Armenia's inquiry. It should be noted that the units of the State Border Guard Service of Azerbaijan withdrew from the location in which the demarcation was being carried out. The chess team with the participation of Armenian leading chess player Harg Martyrosan became the bronze medalist of the World Blitz Chess Team Championship. This is reported by the Chess Federation of Armenia. The team consisted of Richard's report, Alexei Sarana, Haik Martyrosan, Vidit Santos, Gujarati, Jordan Van Forest, Erdog Mus, Yagis Khan, Anna Muzichuk, Hampi Konaryu, and Mukhtar Ainakul. Haik also won a medal in the individual competition. The Armenian chess player took the second position on the third board. Within the framework of the championship, Haik defeated with the score of 2-0 against Azerbaijan, Shariar Mamedyarov, who has the highest rating in Azerbaijan. This was all for today. Goodbye.